Hey, Gateway. Uh, it is Tuesday afternoon, March 17th. Wanted to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. In fact, I have my St. Patrick's Day shirt on. You pinch and I punch. So uh, maybe it's a good thing that we're all a little, uh, at least partially quarantined. Uh, maybe it will uh, keep the violence of St. Patrick's Day uh, from happening even more. Uh, wanted to let you know that we as elders met last night and spent some time in prayer and decision making on what does life for Gateway Church look like moving forward. And so uh, a few things to just uh, tell you what's happening and, and you're probably assuming some of the right things and that is that we're not gonna be meeting. In fact, there's uh, just so much going on and, and uh, the guidelines that our government has given for us that we're not gonna meet on Sundays and uh, we're not gonna officially have any groups uh, during the week. But we do want to stay connected. And so I'm going to encourage you and invite you. Would you stay connected with your brothers and sisters? And here's a few ways to do that. Uh, one is that um, uh, on Friday or Saturday, I'm going to record for you a teaching. In fact, it's going to be a, uh, the beginning of, a, I think, a four, maybe longer week series that I'm calling Anchors or Anchored or something like that. Uh, we're uh, it, there's a storm going on right now. And if we're that ship in the middle of that storm, what, what is our anchor? What do, what do we need to be reminded of? And so I want to share some key passages and key truths from God's word with you in a, maybe a 10 to 15 minute uh, teaching time uh, that I'll record for you. And then that we'll post that online uh, and email it to you and text you and, and just make sure that we get it uh, into your uh, digital devices that you can watch that. You can then watch that as an individual or as a couple, as a family, or maybe even as a community group. What we've done is let each community group decide whether or not they are going to meet. There's unique uh, situations and circumstances with each one. And so uh, we're just going to meet whenever on a Sunday that uh, whatever's appropriate for that group. And you can decide then what your involvement is. But we want to kind of stay connected together through maybe a, a central teaching on a regular basis. And so I'm going to provide for you a reflection guide and a discussion guide that you can use as individuals or families or even as part of your community group. Even though we're separated right now, I do want to encourage us in whatever way possible to stay connected digitally. Uh, we have things like the, the Facebook Connect and uh, we have um, Instagram and, but, but frankly, uh, many of us have texts and, and phones that we can call each other. We can interact with each other and be praying for each other. Um, and so I would encourage you to do that. One of the things I've also decided to do is ask some of our leaders to put together some uh, video devotionals that on a fairly regular basis that we will put out to you and share with you. I do want you to note that we're going to be sharing a lot of that via a new means of communication that we have now, and that is texting. And so you'll probably get some face, some uh, emails and some texts that might overlap and duplicate for just a short while here. And then over time, we'll settle in on using the preferred method that works best for you. Um, so texting is a little instantaneous and, and works well. So if we don't have your cell number, though, we will email. So things like that that we're working on. Appreciate your patience with that. As I close today, I just want to draw your attention to and, and remind you of what we started back in January, and that was our series called Abide. John 15, Jesus said, I'm the vine, you are the branches, abide in me. Uh, he says to that we're going to bear his fruit, we're going to be his disciples, and that's going to glorify God, and we can ask the Father for anything. There's so much packed into John 15. And so, folks, let's abide. In the chaos of life around us, let's let's do three things. One is let's spend time with the Father. We talked about solitude. Uh, you've got a little more time on your hands now, okay? You can spend a little more time in your scripture reading and our, our daily reading plan that we've been doing together and, and a time of prayer and, and uh, confession and, and rest and things like that. So, so spend time with the Father. But number two, would you commit to trusting God instead of fear. So choose trust over fear. I see all the unbelievers around me and even some of my believing friends that, man, there's just a fear. And folks, um, greater he, greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So 
let's uh, choose trust over fear. We'll talk more about that in the days and the weeks ahead. But a third piece of this is that I'd like to um, remind you, uh, encourage you to spend some time in reflection. And what I mean by that is in all the craziness of life right now, I think it's causing people and it should cause us to really wrestle with what is most important. So spend time thinking, spend time praying and, and journaling and just recognizing what all is going on around us and what is God trying to do through this and allowing to happen. I mean, this is providential. This is God allowing this to happen for his reasons. So encourage you to, to spend time with God, choose trust over fear. And number three is spend some time in reflection. Uh, do encourage you, send us your prayer requests. How can we be praying for you? Uh, keep in connection so that we know what's going on in your life and if there's any way that we can help during this. Love you. And uh, we will chat soon, uh, if uh, in person maybe sometime, but hopefully at least online in some way. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.